Well, guys, finally happened. We don't need SideQuest anymore. We can install third-party apps. The reason why you would want to install third-party apps is because if you want to take your quest on an adventure outside of the house or somewhere else, let's say you're going to be traveling or doing whatever, uh, you can install other applications that are 2D and have a little more fun, kind of like uh, with your phone. So, to better explain this, uh, let's get into it. Let's let's get into it. So, first thing we're going to do is this. We're going to go to the library. We're going to go to search right here. Whoop. And now we are going to type in V R A N D. The first thing that will pop up is VR, whoops, Android File Manager. Install. Let this sucker install. Nice, nice, that's good. This is going to give you the capability of looking at all of your saved files. And the, it, it's, it's great. This is kind of a standard thing for Android, being able to see all your stuff. But now if we go back and we open it, which is, there it is. Now you see this. This is all of your stuff. This is everything inside your Quest 3. Um, you won't have the same things I have because I have MX Player and and the Star Wars Star Wars Jedi Outcast and a few other things. But this is a very big deal because before you had to go through side quest to be able to install anything else a third party. So I made an uh, the last video I made was about how to do this. It is a process. It is a very long process. But now you can just have the benefits. Now SideQuest still has like a lot of free games and fun things, or really cool stuff, uh, even more customization, all kinds of things. But if you just want to be able to install third, uh, third-party third apps, uh, then this is your ticket in. This is it. So actually, here, here, we're going to do this. We're going to open. We're going to get into the crazy stuff now. I'm going to show you this right here this is all where all your downloads are at and now we are going to download something let's start with something fun vlc apk an apk file is for android it's like the package installer so if you type in vlc apk this is a video player it's also a music player but it's better as a video player now pretty much any application you're looking for on android if you type it in under Google and type in uh, type in APK, you might actually get something. <clears throat> okay, so download the latest version. Wait, wait a minute, scroll. On. And the reason why I'm using a default browser and not my Brave browser is because a lot of people wouldn't understand. Like I, this is like a fresh look into this. So <clears throat> we only have one app. I'm gonna slide down. Wait for this little guy. Okay. All right, downloading. Downloading. See right there. Download complete. And refresh because I all I did was I pulled down. And there it is. So now if you click on it, so I already have it, so it says update, but now you can do this. And this is a very big deal. We we're talking emulators here. We're talking Game Boy, PlayStation, PSP, uh, almost everything and anything and now i have a special treat for you guys here's the special treat so i'm gonna let that thing install <clears throat> but i'm gonna give you guys something a little extra and i don't know how youtube is gonna like this but i introduce you to happy mod happy mod is a community so if you go to your browser and type in happy mod you click on the first thing with a little the little green guy. You could scroll down. They uh, this right here is another APK that you can install. I'm gonna put this over here. Boop. So if you download this, oh that quick, that's crazy. And then you can click here to install. Happy mod, yes. So Happy Mod is a community and a cluster of people actually putting up cracked apps for Android. So we click open. It's 
it's pretty good. Um, there are ads on it initially, but you can find other apps that don't have that or have there's there's games there's actual useful things on it but again uh meta quest 3 even though that you're able to install like almost every single android application doesn't mean that it'll always work because these are more built for phones so now you have happy mod and again you have games apps and for those of you who don't know too much about uh about the quest you can actually take a controller and play games uh, and and by games I mean let's let's say Grand Theft Auto. I'm I'm this video is gonna so get taken down. Let's see if I wanted to download Grand Theft Auto. So it'll play an ad. I've been playing around with this app recently. It's surprisingly addictive, mm. and it's actually uh, free. Nice. It's called Spades. It's all about strategy, teamwork, and outsmarting your opponents. Master. You can challenge players online when you feel competitive, or just play a relaxing just solo game against wait. the computer to just practice at your own pace. Yeah, that's pretty good. I wasn't expecting to get so hooked, but once Come I started on. playing, I couldn't stop. Come There's on. just something about the smooth gameplay, the daily challenges, and, and so right here it's showing that it's downloading that keeps right me coming back. And uh, yep, there we go. So yes, again, there is like an initial ad, but this is one place to go to get a whole bunch of things. Now, I am going to make another video that is going to take a little bit longer to explain some other cool things I have. And I will show you them, but I won't show you how to install them because it will take some time. Um, but again, you can install this. And then once you install it, you can literally grab a gaming controller and you can control it. As long as you take your quest, you go here. And let's say you go to settings. You go to Bluetooth. And you can hook up, like for me, I have the 8-Bit Doe Pro 2. I can hook this thing up and I can play games inside my quest, 2D games. So let's say if I'm sitting down like at an airport or somewhere else, I can literally play games and I can still see everyone else around me. It's pretty cool. It's pretty nice. Um, of course, I love to do everything else in VR, but there's something about the 2D apps uh, on Android that I just, I love so much. Anyways, um, let's see, where are we at? So back to Happy Mod, 14%. Yeah, so <clears throat> so the way to get to all your uh, your apps that have been installed uh, as an APK file, you click on library, and you'll see the so these are all your apps, right? But right here is all the other apps that you install that are not technically a part of it. Um, I've already talked about Brave and how excellent this application is this is my go-to for uh web browsing it's just it's amazing um yeah this thing is this thing is gold honestly this is my only browser that i really like to use but again i'm only using this one uh oops i'm only using this one to show everybody else who doesn't know how to install this or who hasn't but now you can with this so once the application is installed completely you can either click here or downloads and download it and it will show you um you just click install now we click open uh <laughs> cool and so now you have to allow some permissions but skip sign in yeah accept next Resume. Yeah. Now again, this runs just like like an Android app. I wonder if I could skip this actually. Oh, yep, skip. So since I don't have my controller plugged in right now, I could still run around and this is gonna be terrible. Oh, analog flick. Okay. All right, so this is my turn. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, God. Ah. Oh, jeez. <laughs> You're pushing me over the edge here. Oh, boy. 
Anyways, so yeah, that's how you install uh, third-party uh, apps on the Quest 3. It, do you have any questions? Please let me know. This is... I am so... I was at work all day today thinking about this. I... Mm. Don't get me wrong. I love SideQuest, but this is the way to go. So, Pandora cracked. I mean, also cracked, but uh, MX Player. So I like the song. Oh, yes. So look over here. Broken radio. Broken radio. Okay, I want to click it. It should go to two. Boop. Two. 